What is up, solo sportsters? I'm here today at the beautiful Eastern Athletics Clubs in Huntington to go over the newest from Diadem, the Nova 100 Tour. A little bit different, a great model, not available from a lot of competitors, so let's take it on court and dive into it. For this play test, we opted to use Diadem Signature Strings. On the mains, we have the Diadem Solstice, a soft and comfortable six-sided copolyester for extra spin and bite with the perfect pop of teal. In the crosses, we blended Solstice Black, which is quite similar to the flagship Solstice. However, it has an improved extrusion process for low friction and great tension maintenance. We strung this hybrid at 54 pounds to match the racket and it's killer cosmetic as well as versatile play. The Diadem Nova Tour V3 maintains many of its specs as previous generations. It has a 100 square inch head, an unstrung weight of 315 grams equaling 11.1 .1 ounces, and a swing weight of 315 putting the balance point seven points head light. It is a standard 27 inch racket with a thick beam of 23.5 millimeters. It's an open pattern of 16 mains and 19 crosses and a firm stiffness of 69. The grip type is Diadem Vintage Feel Hybrid and it comes in a very classy black and teal matte cosmetic. What I absolutely love about the Nova Tour is that there are very few options from competitors. So if you like that Pure Drive, that Instinct MP, that Wilson Ultra, there are very few options that exist in the over 300 weight class four category. So if you're okay with the standard weight, you're gonna have tons of choices. If you wanna go heavier, it's gonna be limited to maybe that Pure Drive Tour or this racket, and it's a great fit for so many players. From the baseline, this racket had immense power. Now, normally in these wide body, powerful, stiff frames, you're not gonna get a lot of feel, but that was not the case for the Nova Tour. I don't know if it's the Craybon or the full setup of the racket, but it was plush and comfortable and powerful, which is quite unique, as I said, in a racket of this style. Normally, I do not get too caught up on the cosmetic of a racket. I'd rather be in that whim column, performing better, keeping my body safe. But I must say, Diadem has done an exceptional job with the paint job and cosmetic on this racket. There are great colors. The contrast between their signature teal and these darker matte finishes are really incredible. Love that color. And even on the inlay, there's a bit of a spackle or some spec of some color shifting paint, which adds a really nice touch as well. Normally I struggle with a racket of this nature at the net, but I was quite impressed of how it handled, maneuvered, and hit the volley. I'm assuming it's gonna be because of that extra weight which helps for the stability and kickback when I'm at the net. It was a thicker beam, which shouldn't be as great as it was, but it played fantastic. So I definitely recommend this as an all-court weapon which can hold its own at the baseline as well as the net. Diadem's review scores have significantly improved from past reviews in our Solo Sports graded reviews. As a young company located right here in the U.S. since 2015, they are advancing quickly in how and what they produce. 
The ideal player for this racket is a physically strong player rated 3.5 or higher, seeking power primarily from the baseline, but with the propensity to close out the net when necessary. Two-handed backhands and modern extreme grips will best benefit from what this racket offers. Very few rackets offer this layup and this heavy weight, so similar choices are merely the Babolat Pure Drive Tour and Wilson Clash Pro. If you have big physique, big swings, and want big power with big style, then this is definitely your biggest option to take to the court. Thank you guys for watching our solo sports review on the Nova Tour. A big shout out to Stephen M for getting us this racket early. And as we always ask, if there's a racket or piece of equipment that you want to test, let us know in the comments below, whether it be a rare brand, a name brand, whatever the case, we have access to all of it and we love breaking it down for you.